Hi guys, Mary here. Um, <clears throat> I just got back from the gym <laughs> and I haven't been there in quite a while, I would say about a year. I used to go every day and I it, w it was like an addiction for me. And then we had the hurricanes and the gym was closed for, I don't know, I guess about four, five months. And I just got out of the habit of going. It's weird how you just get out of the habit, right? Um, but I was walking the beach every day and I, was, I thought that was enough, but clearly it's not enough. I, I was, I've been doing a lot of readings for people lately and the same guidance keeps coming up about taking care of our bodies, exercising, especially since we're being triggered, a lot of emotions are coming up right now for people as we purge, bring things up that need healing um, so that we can move on to a fifth dimension in consciousness without taking that um, baggage with us. So um, yesterday was my first day back and I woke up this morning and I'm telling you I was so sore. <laughs> Oh my God, so sore. So I just pushed myself and made myself go back there today. Um, I didn't do the weightlifting, but I got on the treadmill and um, did some stretching, trying to um, not be quite so sore. But anyway, um, I already feel like a lot of my tension and a lot of my irritability um, is decreased just by two days at the gym. So I guess my message would be um, if you haven't been exercising or taking care of yourself, um, just do what you can to get back into that habit. Even if you just go for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just take the step. It's that first step, right? It's that first step towards doing something. And I can tell you yesterday I felt like a big fat pig I just felt horrible about myself but I just put on the exercise gear and I went <laughs> and I could only do like half of what I used to do so it's humbling but also I just felt my body like thanking me for doing for doing that for myself you know it's just another way of loving yourself taking care of your body so anyway I wanted to talk about that what else did I want to talk about oh yeah so I've been doing, um, I'm a um, beyond quantum healing uh, practitioner, which basically means I do um, regressive, um, past life regression uh, for people. And in, in the sessions that I've had recently, um, I did ask about the event. So you're going to hear the event the awakening, you're going to hear a lot about, um, there's different ways of, there's different titles for it. Um, but anyway, when I asked about that in the last three sessions that I had recently, um, I got the answer that um, energies are going to be coming in on the planet mid-September. And if you watch Aluna Ash, I think she talks about that as well. And who else do I watch? There's these um, guys, I don't know, I call them the boys, but um, it's um, Transfer Motion, it's spelled Transfer Motion, but they talk about um, the event coming uh, mid-September as well, and so I was asking for my own clients, just um, for my own self, Anyway, um, the energies are going to be very strong, stronger than what we, um, stronger than one, what has come in the last, I, I would say since March. So you may be feeling those energies and I just wanted to let you know that. Um, what they wanted us to know is that more and more people are waking up. And if you're watching my channel, I'm guessing that you are well aware of what's going on and the ascension process from 3D to 5D. And you're probably a light worker. Um, so I just wanted to pass on the information that 
a lot of people are going to be waking up in September and October. So what Spirit wants us all to know is that although these channels are great and it's great to reach out to others via YouTube, Facebook, um, and any, you know, all the technology and the social media. But we need to get groups of people together, um, actually together, together, you know, in person to person. Um, one of the ways that I do that is to hold um, meditation. I do weekly meditation for anyone who wants to join. Um, it's no cost, just show up. And that's my way of bringing groups of people together and also through the retreat that I'm planning for February and April. That's my way of getting groups of people together. And I also, um, we got a group of people together on the 26th, the night of the full moon in Pisces. And we did a great full moon ritual where we all wrote down just a list of things that we wanted to let go of. And we had a little meditation and then we we each one by one went and put our list in the fire and burned it and let that go out into the ethers. And it was just really nice to sit with a group. It was only about 12 people, but just to sit with a group of people all together and you could just feel the energy expand. You could just feel the energy. And I think spirit really wants us to get groups of people together. So I'm trying to think of other ways to do that. And maybe you have some ideas, and if so, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, I love the fact that you guys are commenting, and um, it really helps others who are going through this process who need help. So if you have any ideas about that, it doesn't have to be spiritual. It could just be any way of getting groups of people together. It's funny, you know, we have this technology to bring us together from everywhere in the world, and yet I find that a lot of people are just really lonely, um, spending more time online and less time, you know, face to face with people. So whatever you can do to um, bring people together, that would be great. Maybe you teach yoga, and you can offer like donation only yoga. Um, you know, money is a situation too that I'm having. Um, I have, okay, I have time. <laughs> Um, I do my, um, my past life progression therapies for only $90. Now, some people don't like that. Um, I know that people charge upwards of $300 for their sessions. But Spirit has told me that we need to get as much healing out there as possible. Um, so I offer my sessions for only $90. Um, I think more and more practitioners are trying to offer sessions or discounts for sessions or way, ways of getting um, healing out there. I'm going to be teaching Reiki to people um, that live here on the island for no charge just because we need to get that healing out there. People are purging, things are coming up, people are, I don't want to say scared, but um, they, some people don't know what's going on and people that you wouldn't think that are spiritual are waking up and they're looking for answers so um, whatever you can do to offer healing I'm not saying that you shouldn't get paid what you deserve or that we all you know as, as spiritual workers um, we obviously have to make a living doing what we do but I think if you can offer a discount or any way of getting healing to people that maybe can't afford it. Um, anyway, I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> so um, with that being said, I'll go ahead and just draw a card for us for today, maybe a couple of cards, um, just for the energy for today. This is Colette Baron reeds Wisdom of the Oracle. <clears throat> and this card seems to want to come out. Oh, I love this. I just got the chills. New life. New life. So, there's a lot of transitions going on. A lot of new beginnings for, for people. People are leaving relationships that no longer serve them as they wake up. 
people are, are leaving jobs that no longer resonate or no longer serve. Um, so uh, this is a new beginning, a new, a new start for a lot of people out there. And that can be scary, right? Because our egos don't like change, our egos like st status quo. And people in your lives may be trying to talk you out of it. Now, when I moved to this island eight years ago, it was the start for me. It was a way of getting off the grid. It was a way of getting out of, you know, the nine to five. And people in my life thought I was absolutely crazy to sell everything I owned. My husband and I left good jobs to come here and um, start this guest house on this little island. So, but it was the right thing. I knew it was right. It felt right. Um, I felt I was being guided to come here because this island of Calabria is basically a big piece of quartz <laughs> and moving here although I didn't know it at the time was like the first step for me in my awakening and um, you may be guided to do things that other people think are crazy but what I would say to you is listen to your own inner guidance um, I say it every video, take time to meditate, really get to know your own heart, your own feelings, and your own gut. That would be your third chakra, your solar plexus, and you can actually put your hands here and just feel the feelings. You know, if you're an empath, you may find that you are taking on other people's feelings, other people's emotions and energies. And it's really imperative that you sit with yourself and get to know what is yours, truly yours, and what is someone else's. Um, so just take that time to sit with um, any changes that you're making and make sure it's coming from your own inner guidance, your own inner wisdom. Um, let me just pull a card. Let's see. I got this new deck and I did do a review for it. It's called your sacred wealth code, and I'll just pull a card from here. Um, someone gave me the advice to pour cornstarch. I forget your name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> to pour some cornstarch on the cards, and I completely forgot to do that. So I'm still having a little trouble shuffling, but later today I'm going to try that. So thank you for that advice. Okay, let's see what spirit has. This is like a life purpose deck. Let's see. The Honorable Warrior. I take a stand for positive change. So um, it's no coincidence that we got this card today because it's all about changing and transitioning and new life. Um, and new ways of doing things. We don't have to do things the way that, that we used to. You know, we don't have to be in that old matrix, that old paradigm. We're shifting to a new paradigm. Um, so the card says brave, courageous, strong, passionate, bold, hardworking, territorial, athletic, competitive, decisive, heroic, loyal, disciplined, and action-driven. So um, it's no... <laughs> It's no co coincidence, and I love Spirit for um, bringing this card to us today because um, I was talking about going to the gym and being athletic, working out, just getting rid of that energy that maybe is not even yours. You may be triggered, so you know, move your body. Uh, but also this is about being a warrior. You're all spiritual warriors, right? So um, if you feel like making a change in your life, for the better, a positive change, and a lot of us are starting new spiritual practices. Maybe you're doing energy work for people. Maybe you want to be a, um, a beyond quantum uh, healer with um, doing past life regressions, and there's courses online that you can take. Um, I took a course from Sri and Kira, and you can go to sriankira.com to look that up. Um, and I also took a course from Candice, who does a Beyond Quantum Healing course. So there's many courses out there for you to take, um, but there's a lots of ways to be of service, 
we're changing from um, 